Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. We all know that Crash Bandicoot can spin and drive carts, but can he platform in two dimensions? According to this game, yes. It's Crash Bandicoot XS. 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 Oh, I get it now. Crash. Crash Bandicoot Excess. He's in excess of... something. From 2002, this is Crash Bandicoot Excess for the Game Boy Advance, also known as Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. And a huge adventure it is, albeit a predictable one. Crash is probably better known for his PlayStation releases, but this one is from Vicarious Visions, who usually does good work, and the game is good, but it's also fairly average. And I hate to use the word average, but there, there's just not a whole lot that you haven't seen in pretty much every other game like this before, even though Crash Bandicoot XS plays well. It's fun on the Game Boy Advance and the GameCube player seen here. It's a tricky game, one that starts out really easy and then gets extremely challenging. After all, it is Crash Bandicoot Excess! Maybe it's in excess of a standard platformer because it has these neat running scenes and some afterburner style stuff. Like Crash Bandicoot meets Space Harrier without the fancy pants. Most of the time that you spend playing this, you'll be platforming, and it gets tricky. You'll have to memorize some levels and play them over and over again before you get through them, especially the harder ones. Crash learns new skills after he defeats end bosses in boss battles. And, you know, perhaps that's why the game is is average. It's, it's not bad, it's just... It's okay. If you're looking for a decent platformer that's well made with a good character, some good music, nice visuals, this is it. But at no point did I really get the feeling like, oh, this is this is trying something new and succeeding. It's just trying something that succeeded previously in other games and just doing it well. Perhaps Crash's biggest problem here is that it's not as good as the older Crash Bandicoot games on the PlayStation. His spin attack seemed cooler and more innovative back then. This one just feels like a Me Too game. Not only can Crash drive carts in CTR racing, which was actually really good, but he can 2D platform as well. Okay, and, and, and this is in that gray area of Game Boy Advance games. Like there's a lot of really amazing ga Game Boy Advance games, a lot of really god awful ones, and, and then some like this that are good. And, and what can you say about good? It's, it's not bad enough to make fun of, but not great enough to just jump up and down and get excited about either. You can easily find this one out there for a couple bucks, and if you like a good platformer, it's worth it. It's got some good replay value after you complete a level, you can go back and play it again for a faster time. And you can't go wrong with a game that's got the thing from Star Wars that captures Luke Skywalker in a cave. Could use more flamethrowers. That being said, I do have a huge classic game room shout out and thank you. Descend to the Netherlands. This was sent to the show by Milan in the Netherlands. Thank you. I've enjoyed it and I do recommend it if you can find it for a good price, which you should be able to do. Crash Bandicoot XS, also known as Crash Bandicoot. The huge adventure, expect a good game on your Game Boy Advance, just don't expect something you haven't seen a thousand times before. Crash Bandicoot, not as fast as Sonic or as popular as Mario. And it's not as good as Crash on the PlayStation, but it is, or it would be better, 
If it had more burning people with monsters and cutting them in half... Of course, that could be said for anything. 